more bad takes for you. Now, this take is going to be kind of a take that I don't think applies to black folks, Jay. At all. But this weekend, I was traveling on I-75, and I saw multiple instances with people, you know, scraping up animal carcasses off of the side of the road, roadkill, and putting them in their trucks. That's I disgusting. I can't tell you how nasty that is. Dead armadillos, dead opossums, dead foxes, dead deer, and they're putting them in their trucks. Now that's nasty. Now I don't know much about animals. But when I see something that dies, flies usually swarm and make maggots. Uh huh. So, how do you clean the meat, per se, or get past the maggot layer to do what you're gonna do with this roadkill? That's a good question. I don't get it. Now, if it freshly was killed, I I would somewhat get it more, but I don't get it still because, you know, it looked like they was pretty dead. You know, they looked, started turning brown. The sun had been, cook, been cooking the animals a little bit. Oh, wow. And they're scraping up with, like, the day. I don't know if they are shovel, I guess, or whatever it's called, and putting it into the dadgum trucks. That was about to be, be their dinner. Roadkill. The roadkill dinner. I just don't get it. And I don't think blacks do this, even the rural ones. I can't see a black doing that. I just can't. I mean, I've never heard of it, but either way, it's, it's disgusting. Like, you're not going to see me, like pick up a dead animal and take it home to eat for dinner. No, I'm going to leave it alone. Mm. And on top of that, these are animals that normally people shouldn't be eating anyway, even if they weren't roadkill. Like, let's say they, they went out hunting. Like, why would you want to have a fox for dinner? Or armadillo for dinner? Why would you want to slap that on the grill? And how, how do you get past that shell they have? Yeah. Is that shell fried too? Like, what the hell? So many questions. When you seen that this weekend as I was driving up, I said 75 was like, man, like, really? What are we doing? Well, no, I mean, no, no. What, what are these people doing? What are, we doing? what are these people doing? Like, really? Yeah, that's crazy. I guess they're trying to get, like, I don't know. I guess they're wanting something for free instead of just simply going to the grocery store and getting prepackaged meat. Or even going to the butcher shop where an animal's professionally butchered, like normal animals. I guess they figure, okay, you know, that's a free lunch. But, you know, a free lunch or free dinner is not always good at all. Yeah, all free ain't good free. Like, Like if I was even starving, I'm still not going to turn around and eat roadkill for dinner. It's not going to happen. No way, no how. Like, I'll go hungry. Pennsylvania, they were supposed to go to North Carolina. I don't know. My only thought is he got on 
So I'm assuming he didn't make it to this conference. He did not. It gets worse. Oh, gosh. He was supposed to be on his way back home to Atlanta. But he ended up in Niagara Falls. He called it something else. (laughs) And told me, quote, he saw the Canadian Honduras World War up there. Because the, quote, Lick was fighting each other. The lick was fighting each other? Who's the lick? <laughs> I have no idea what the lick is. It says, when, are, when is Canada and Honduras fighting? <laughs> I, I missed this, this whole thing. I had no idea that either. <laughs> that their teeth were fighting each other. I had no clue that either, Jay. I had no clue. But how did the man got home? Only God knows. But yeah, that's a good question, too. He was on North Carolina, which is up I 85 from Atlanta. He ended up in Erie, Pen- Erie, Pennsylvania, and then Niagara Falls. And he tells me, quote, the square box told him where to go. I highly doubt that his GPS told him to go from Pennsylvania to go to Niagara Falls to get to Atlanta. <laughs> Why? Trying to blame the GPS. Why did he even do this to himself? But then, like, if you would have said it was somebody else, I I would have, you know, probably been surprised. But then when you mentioned it was Alvin, I was like, eh, I'm not really that surprised because three years ago, he got lost for about a week. Exactly. He was in several different states. Exactly. (laughs) And he was nowhere close to where he was supposed to be at. I remember he called it, I went weast. Yup, weast. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> weast. And then he said that his alphabet stopped working. Yeah, his alphabet stopped working. I'm like, come on, dude, man, really? Like, come on, like, he didn't even stop driving. I agree. Like, I think next time he has a conference out of town, he just needs to get him a Greyhound bus ticket and do that. I think that it's a safer for himself and everybody else. Exactly, because he is a busser. That's the thing. He normally takes the bus while he's in while he's in town locally. So that's surprising that he would rent a car to go out of town knowing that he gets lost. Like, he could just get on the Greyhound and bus it there. Exactly. He's talking about, I don't know why my device being His device beamed him there? Yeah, he don't know why I did that. There's no such thing. <laughs> He's like, on the inside of the device, boss, is some weird language and descriptions. <laughs> what? I mean, the dashboard? Nah, boss, that's like a basketball thing. No. Oh, wow. Backboard out and not quote a dashboard. <laughs> yeah, boss it had weird language on it. Then it played weird things of the of the sound receptacle. The sound receptacle. What in the hell is that? Exactly. It was bad. Came in the office, told me today, and today he also in the office trying to act, try to get me to fill him a prescription once more. After you already told him that you are not a pharmacy, but according to him, a pharmacy is the non thing version of Macy's. <laughs> according to him, y'all who don't know Alvin speak, non thing means women. I don't know why. That's what he calls women. I can't I can't tell you why he called women that. But that's what he told me today. So the pharmacy is supposed to be the women's version of Macy's? <laughs> he tells me. He tells me. The pills the clip off the 
feels my closet, right? Give me the pills. It's the slip of the feels, right? The pills slip. The pills slip, boss. The paper slip, boss, for pills. Calm down, Al. I, I ain't got no pills. Yeah, you do. You're in the closet, boss. You have them. I don't know what made him think that you were a pharmacy in the first place. And how was he getting his prescriptions filled before? Because I'm quite sure he took some type of medication before that, you know, that this isn't new. I don't know why he thinks you're a pharmacy. The medicine he takes is for, it's, it's for pain, too. They're, they're, they're pain pills. Oh. I guess all those years of throwing bags on attrition, I guess. Such a hard job throwing a bag. Such a taxing position. Yep. So taxing on the body. You know, like, come on, dude. Then he's asking me, can I do his birthday party for him? I'm like, why? Yeah. I want you to quote EJ my party. EJ. EJ? Yeah. Because, you know, I need you to bring them EJ birds and the EJ buttons and play the sound stuff for me. What? That's what music is called now? The sound stuff? <laughs> and can you give a show out to Jeff for me at my party? Give you a show out to Jeff, huh? This is just to say that my fist clenched up real hard when he said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> like he's still talking to Jeff, the person who doesn't exist? Uh, yeah. Yo, boss. We, we need to go see that woman again. What woman, Alvin? Down in the South. That, that South woman. You know, we went to where all that, where the bathtub was around us, right? I mean, South Beach? No. You know, you, you know that woman. He's trying to say his, his favorite term, South Bitch, I guess. <laughs> that woman. You mean the land? Yo, boss. Why is the bathtub around the, 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 you know, the grass and stuff? That's saying, Alvin. Why is the bathtub around it, though? Bye, Alvin. Get out of my office, please. <laughs> you were just done by that point. <laughs> I do. I regret taking taking his hands ass with me that day, true. But he did give me a semi decent take of South Bitch, which is the <laughs> <laughs> semi decent take, I guess. That's still funny to this day. He wants to go oh, back. Oh, that up. woman. <laughs> that quote, woman. You mean South Beach, not at one. <laughs> So yeah, that was my day in the office. Bad takes from Alf and came by and saw me. Had to share with me his terrible takes and getting lost once more, Jay. You poor thing. God. He's lucky I'm nice to him. He is, because you know I can't stand people to be around me. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. <laughs> you know this. He's getting a free pass and not getting destroyed. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, folks, that's this week's Bad Takes. Check us out. More for them at BossManShow.com. we got some more Bossman Show for you after the break. For all your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu-ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at BlueberryProductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B-L-U-B-E-R-R-Y, Prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Hey there, your yard took a real beating this summer. Luckily, Scott's Turf Builder Winter Guard has your back. Just feed your grass with Scott's again this fall when the air is cool and the soil is warm. It's the perfect time to give your lawn a boost. If you do, Winter Guard will give your yard the nourishment it needs to help weak, thin grass recover and support root growth, giving you a greener, more resilient lawn both now and next spring. Guaranteed. Grab a bag of Scott's Turf Builder Winter Guard today. You'll be back to barbecuing in no time. This is a Scott's Yard. 
Hey, parents, we all try to be extra careful with our children in the car, but then we get an important call or text. Remember, our children are watching. Make every drive a good example. Be in the zone. Turn off your phone. Visit childrenshospital.vanderbilt.org slash B-I-T-Z to learn more about our teen driver safety program. Brought to you by Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, the Ford Motor Company Fund, and the Allstate Foundation. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Boss Man Radio Show covering sports and entertainment across the country. Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Hip hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENT, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody. Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today. True Speech and 313 Fresh. Family Grind ENT. Believe in it. Get it. A gorgeous tan from Suntan City gives you an inner glow that relights the fire when you run into your first crush. Vicky, who is that? An old boyfriend. Lucky you just tanned at Suntan City. Lucky he's single. We're doing lunch tomorrow. Won't be single for long then. During Tour of the City, try all five tans, including spray tan, for just $4.99. Restrictions may apply. Click to buy now. When you're a teen, you finally get to make some of your own decisions. Who are you going to hang out with? What do you want to be? Are you going to glance at that text while driving? Remember, a split second is all it takes for something tragic to happen. Be in the zone. Turn off your phone. Visit childrenshospital.vanderbilt.org slash B-I-T-Z to learn more about our teen driver safety program. Brought to you by Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, the Ford Motor Company Fund, and the Allstate Foundation. It's maybe the night that my dreams might let me know All the stars are closer, all the stars are closer Tell me what you gonna do to me Confrontation ain't nothing new to me You could bring a bullet, bring a sword, bring a morgue But you can't bring the truth to me Alexa, play Kendrick Lamar and SZA Okay With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need Get tens of millions of songs. Download the Amazon Music app today. Yeah, yeah, it's your man, JC, the host with the most, baby. And it goes down each and every Saturday night right here in the city of Memphis. That's right, y'all. It goes down at Clicks Sports Bar Memphis, baby. 3705 Malco Way, Memphis, Tennessee, 38125. Come out and join us, the Three Kings, each and every Saturday night for the liveest karaoke in the city. Everybody gets in free till 10 p.m., Only $5 after. Great food. We got drink specials. We got all kind of games, man. We got the pool tables popping. Whatever you want, we got you, man. Come on out. Have a good time with us each and every Saturday night. That's Clicks Sports Bar, Memphis. All right, folks, back on the Boss Man Show. Time for the Boss Report. Today's report will be a little tamer than usual. But it's still the boss report. We're going to be crazy as hell. Jay, come off the bad take segment. Are you ready for what we're going to hear from these fools as dumb as hell today? Yep. All right. Well, folks, you been waiting on it. It's time for it. It's here. It's the boss report. 
first story is this, Jay. Bite into crime. Florida woman allegedly chews off boyfriend's thumb and leaves pieces of it on the floor after he's firing off gas in the bed all night. Dang, so that, that pissed her off that much that she decided to chew off his thumb? Yes. Lady, it is not that serious. <laughs> Unflattering, but it's not that serious. That is ridiculous. Like, maybe he had some bad tacos or something. He, was, he couldn't handle he couldn't handle himself. You know, he's firing off scud missiles all night. It happens. Yeah, anything could have caused that. Man, oh man. Uh Georgia man attacks driver with a machete at Cobb County gas station, which right from Atlanta. Doing a road rage incident, chasing the man around the quick trip with a, with, with a machete. Dang. Over road rage. Yeah, that is way too far for road rage. And it was probably something so petty, like homeboy done cut him off or something, or didn't use a signal. Like, it is not that serious to be chasing around somebody with a machete. Not at all. And think about it, it happened literally. The next county over from where I'm at. That's crazy. Crazy. Polk County, Florida woman pulled over for having a man in a dog cage in the, in the back of her truck because he wouldn't <laughs> give her what she wanted sexually. Yo, wow, these people are insane. <laughs> really? She, she had this man in a dog cage because he wouldn't give her what she wanted. So let him go. Somebody's not satisfying you or doing what you want them to do. Let them go. Like, hey, you know what? This isn't going to work out. We need to go our separate ways. Not lock him up like an animal in a cage. <laughs> Who does that? Exactly. Wow. Polk County woman. That's why I don't go to Polk County very often when I'm home. Stuff like this. Florida police warned that flushing drugs down the toilet could create, quote, meth gators. I didn't know that. Flushing drugs what? down the toilet can create meth gators? Yes, according to Florida police. So that means that if people continue doing that, that you're going to have a bunch of gators in Florida high on meth? Got that right. Dang. Oh, this is a horrible take. Could have been a bad take seven, but I didn't use it. But here we go. Uh, Texas cops are sending out a memorandum to residents about it's illegal and it's, it's, it's all animal abuse to be putting glitter on your dog's <laughs> testicles. <laughs> Why is that even a thing? First of all, an announcement shouldn't have had to be made about that in the first place because <laughs> that owner shouldn't be putting glitter there in the first place. <laughs> Why is there even having to be an announcement about this? Like, they have that many residents in the area that are putting glitter on their dog's testicles? Yes. <laughs> Why is this even happening? <laughs> <laughs> this should not even be, I'm no dog for this is a horrible take why does it even happen to these dogs why let them do whatever they do roam around walk around do whatever the hell they do why are you putting glitter on, on their testicles why exactly what's supposed to be like some arts and crafts project or something it's an animal what's wrong with people oh my goodness gracious me help us all father help us all uh australian man carrying over 200 million worth of meth crashes into police cars parked outside of gas station dang well i wasn't smart not at all not at all i don't get it you riding dirty. You need to drive careful. Just Even extra careful. If I'm somebody's sorry. driving dirty, like, that's not the time to be reckless and crash into police cars. Yes, indeed. Oh, my goodness. 
uh, Gwinnett County man that's north of Atlanta scammed San Francisco woman out of over a hundred K in online dating scheme from website POF. Oh, POF is such a crappy site. I don't know why people even still use POF to actually try to find a decent person. Most people on POF are scumbags. And while I do feel sorry for the lady who was scammed, it's like, why did she spend this man $100,000 in the first place? She don't know him. Yeah, he's in Georgia and California. Yeah, exactly. So obviously some type of scam. So what he probably did was that he would sit there and pour out his so-called sob stories about, oh, this happened and that happened. He needs money for this and that. Just scamming her the whole time. But she shouldn't have sent, she shouldn't have opened up her checkbook to him. She shouldn't have sent him nothing. Mm-hmm. Here we go, Jesus. This theme is back. It's by somebody famous. Uh, Atlanta rapper Young Dro accused of attacking girlfriend with banana pudding. You know what? <laughs> I don't understand why people are using food in their domestic attacks. I mean, the last time it was like frozen pops and the banquet frozen meal, and now he used banana pudding to attack his girlfriend? Yes. I, I mean, nobody should be getting attacked anyway, but come on now. Really? Banana pudding? So what do you do? He'd like chuck the cup of banana pudding at her? Bowl and all with spoon. Wow. Yeah, he needs to get it together. Some anger management, perhaps. Like, dude, really? Like, dude, you, you fucking up, dude. Seriously. Big time. Oh, my goodness. Uh, a Georgia man sues Hardy's. He says civil rights were violated due to not getting enough cash browns. Civil rights were violated because he didn't get enough hash browns. That's because he was brown. Oh, you know what? <laughs> what a take. <laughs> Are we seriously doing this right now? Really? You probably didn't correctly read how many hash browns were supposed to come with the order. Exactly. Exactly. Like I, I, I wouldn't call that a civil rights violation. He probably was only supposed to get a certain amount of hash browns. He wanted more. So now all of a sudden it's some type of civil rights violation. <laughs> he said, quote, we need to call Al Sharpton and, and the boys to help me. Al Sharpton shouldn't even get involved in that nonsense. <laughs> it was a civil rights violation. He should have got 12 more hash browns. <laughs> right. The case of missing hash browns. I mean, come on, really? <laughs> There's some more important stuff to deal with. Exactly. Like Baltimore. Let's deal with that. You know? Like, come on. Oh, goodness gracious. Florida man arrested for hitting his wife with a hot bowl of chili. Oh, wow. Because she would not swallow his dessert, if you catch my drift. Oh, I catch her drift. Really? That's her choice if she wants to swallow or not. You can't just throw hot chili on somebody. Just because they don't want to swallow certain liquids. Like, it doesn't work like that. Why is food being used as a weapon again? Like, I don't understand this. Exactly. I'm wondering the same thing. First the banana pudding, now the hot chili. <laughs> Look, food is not to be used as a weapon to throw at people, okay? No, it's supposed to be eaten. Man, oh man. Got this one. Florida man... Hit meth and hot potato wedges, deputies say. A Florida man hit, hold up, this man hit meth and potato wedges and thought that this was a good idea? He sure did. Wow, people hiding meth in potato wedges. This is crazy. The world's getting worse. I'm not worse. surprised he got caught. It was stupid to begin with. The world's getting worse. Yeah, it's like, come on, Florida, why are most of these reports about about y'all. <laughs> yeah, it's getting bad. It's getting bad, bad, bad. I don't get it. Here we go. Um, Florida men arrested for trying to fly his junk to 
prospect free pills at Walgreens from, from the pharmacist. What's up with these men pulling out their junk all the time for, for stuff? And it's like, I'm sorry, but him pulling out his, you know, his junk is not going to get him free anything at the pharmacy. It's not going to happen. Like, my man, that's your, that's your take. Yeah, he thought that the pharmacy person was going to be that impressed by what he has in store. Obviously, he did. And it did not work. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's getting bad for the city of Atlanta, too. Um, he's, this guy's black. Atlanta man riding an e-scooter to a lit firework at a police officer. Alfie, he wouldn't give him a chance for a five. He threw a lit firework at a police officer because the police officer wouldn't give him change for a five? Yes. What the heck does the police officer need to be giving him change in the first place for? He's not a cashier. <laughs> What's going on here? So he decides to throw a lit firework at the police officer thinking that that was a great idea? Yes. He deserves to be in jail, period. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh... We got another bad take about this as well. Uh, oh, goodness. Kansas tattoo artist is arrested after getting too freaky with a patron who he was painting a bullseye around their anus. He decides to take his hand in a live dealer, which I stick it in her anus, and got caught with a assault charge saying, quote, it was said right there for me to touch. I couldn't resist it disgusting pervert. He deserved to be arrested. All he had to do was just focus on what he was supposed to do with the tattoo and nothing more. Exactly. Like, I don't understand that take at all. At all. At all, at all, at all. And the final story is this. Uh, on this report is a Florida man arrested for hitting the Taco Bell worker with a DDT but not giving him any, any hot sauce. What's a DDT? A wrestling move. Oh, dang. Over some hot sauce? These people are tripping. <laughs> they need to get over themselves. Oh, my God. This, this, this report is already... <laughs> over some hot sauce. <laughs> over hot sauce. My man got ddt Over hot sauce. Wow. Now, that's the move where you take their head and jam it into the ground. Like, you just do like a, you jump up and put a head to the ground. Got it. DDT. You. And it's how he said, also, he pinned them, pinned them for, for the one, two, three as well. He counted, he wants me to count the pin. One, wow. two, three. Are you kidding me? You want to, you, you want to get a pin fall out of it? <laughs> oh, God, people. And that's just part one of bad takes. I'm not bad. Boss report, not bad. Boss report. What I'm confused. Boss report. <laughs> I want to bar the boss report. Coming out of the break is part two, which will surely be worse than part one. And I must say so myself. So stick, stick with us on the Boss Man Show, Boss Report, after the break. For all your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu-ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at BlueberryProductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B-L-U-B-E-R-R-Y, Prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Hey there, your yard took a real beating this summer. Luckily, Scott's Turf Builder Winter Guard has your back. Just feed your grass with Scott's again this fall when the air is cool and the soil is warm. It's the perfect time to give your lawn a boost. If you do, Winter Guard will give your yard the nourishment it needs to help weak, thin grass recover and support root growth, giving you a greener, more resilient lawn both now and next spring. Guaranteed. Grab a bag of Scott's Turf Builder Winter Guard today. You'll be back to barbecuing in no time. This is a Scott's Yard. 
Hey, parents, we all try to be extra careful with our children in the car, but then we get an important call or text. Remember, our children are watching. Make every drive a good example. Be in the zone. Turn off your phone. Visit childrenshospital.vanderbilt.org slash BITZ to learn more about our teen driver safety program. Brought to you by Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, the Ford Motor Company Fund, and the Allstate Foundation. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Bossman Radio Show, covering sports and entertainment across the country. Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Hip hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENT, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to do two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today True Speech and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. A gorgeous tan from Suntan City gives you an inner glow that relights the fire when you run into your first crush. Vicky, who is that? An old boyfriend. Lucky you just tanned at Suntan City. Lucky he's single. We're doing lunch tomorrow. Won't be single for long then. During Tour of the City, try all five tans, including spray tan, for just $4.99. Restrictions may apply. Click to buy now. When you're a teen, you finally get to make some of your own decisions. Who are you going to hang out with? What do you want to be? Are you going to glance at that text while driving? Remember, a split second is all it takes for something tragic to happen. Be in the zone. Turn off your phone. Visit childrenshospital.vanderbilt.org slash BITZ to learn more about our teen driver safety program. Brought to you by the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, the Ford Motor Company Fund, and the Allstate Foundation. It's maybe the night that my dreams might let me know All the stars are closer, all the stars are closer Tell me what you gonna do to me Confrontation ain't nothing new to me You could bring a bullet, bring a sword, bring a morgue But you can't bring the truth to me Alexa, play Kendrick Lamar and Scissor. Okay Maybe the night that my dreams might let me know All the stars are closer With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need Get tens of millions of songs. Download the Amazon Music app today. Yeah, yeah, it's your man, JC, the host with the most, baby. And it goes down each and every Saturday night right here in the city of Memphis. That's right, y'all. It goes down at Clicks Sports Bar Memphis, baby. 3705 Malco Way, Memphis, Tennessee, 38125. Come out and join us, the Three Kings, each and every Saturday night for the liveest karaoke in the city. Everybody gets in free till 10 p.m., only five dollars after great food we got drink specials we got all kind of games man we got the pool tables popping whatever you want we got you man come on out have a good time with us each and every saturday night that's clicks sports bar memphis all right folks back on the boss man show time for the part of the boss report jay what are your thoughts on part one so far i still can't get over the glitter <laughs> Yeah, um, you should not be putting glitter on no dog's testicles. First of all, okay, I have a quick question about it before we get to the report. How was that done? Was it while the dog was asleep? 
<laughs> I, I, I'm sure, and once again, if a dog is asleep, why are you playing with the dog's balls? Now, exactly. <laughs> now, I have balls of my own as a man. My balls are sensitive. I feel if you touch my balls. Now, I'm, I can't go into a dog's head or a dog's brain. I'm assuming their balls are sensitive too. I'm assuming. Uh huh. So was the dog awake when you did this with his Johnson or his balls <laughs> or was it sleep? That's my question. That's a good question. That's concerning to me on so many levels. Why? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Not for me to get. No, folks, you've been waiting on it. It's time for it. It's here. It's the boss report. All right, Jay. Right, first story is this. It's just despicable. Oh, man. Uh, in Florida again. A Florida man is arrested after topping off his own Johnson with some shears. Because the female pastor will not give him none. So because the pastor wouldn't give him none, he, he cut off his own Johnson? In front of the whole church. Don't get wow, it. Wow, that's a way to prove a point. You ain't gonna get none now. <laughs> at all. Oh my goodness. I don't get that take at all. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, here we go. Alleged sexual assaulter, Kodak Black, raps about punching pregnant young Miami in the stomach. Oh, wow. That, that. How do you... First of all, no, no pregnant woman should be getting punched in the stomach or punched anywhere, period. He's a scumbag for that. And he's in jail. How are you recording songs from jail? Good question. I don't get that. How do how you record? How is he recording songs from jail? I don't. How does that work? Like, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe he got like special privileges or something while he's in there. Indeed, we got this. Oh, sweet yeehaw. Mariah Carey congratulates Lil Nas X after Old Town Road breaks her record with 17 weeks at number one. Dang, Lil Nas broke Mariah Carey's record? Mm-hmm. That's a big thing. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Little songs are starting to wear on me, though. It's all starting to wear on me. I used to even like it, but it's starting to be trying to wear on me. It's, it's, it's breaking me down little by little. You know, so starting to starting to like it a little bit. We got this separation affirmation. Emily B. Hint, she's done with fabulous due to his toxicity. What did he do? You know, he tried to, you know, he, 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 you know, he been trying to get back with her, but he you know he's been real toxic lately with his attitude and his Instagram post and his aggressive ways. Lately, here she's done. With him. She's finished with. Him. Well, yeah, if he's toxic and you know he's bringing nothing but negative vibes into her life, then yeah, she has all rights to move on and uh, put her life in a different direction. And you know, you can't go on week about Donald Trump. Tweeting some racist about somebody black and prominent. He called Al Sharpton the con man, said he, he who hates whites and cops. And Strops and clapped back and said if he was a con man, he would hire him for his administration. Oh. Okay. Clap back was real. No from lies Al Sharpton. There. Exactly. I don't blame people when they, you know, when they clap back at him because he's just, he just feels like he can say and do what he wants. Exactly. Yeah, you have to check the bullet. Check the bullet. Yep. We got this. Mentally ill mom of six arrested after allegedly stealing Taraji P. Henson's identity. How did she steal Taraji P. Henson's identity? Like, how did that even happen? That's a good question. They didn't say that one. Because I would assume that Taraji P. Henson's security is on lock. 
But I don't get how she just got her identity like that. But dang. Yeah. Quickest he confirmed, Kiki Wyatt spotted bumping around with baby number 10. She must not like seeing her feet. Baby number 10? So how are they going to be going around to, that's a lot of kids. How are they going to be going around to like, I don't know, dinners, soccer games, stuff like that, if they all have to leave the house at the same time? What do they do? Take like two or three cars at the same time? That's a lot of kids. I'm thinking about just how she's she's been pregnant. Think about that. That's like nine months, like 10 times. It's like 90 months. So that's like, she's been pregnant like, shoot, man. uh, Let me do the math on that. That's like, she's been pregnant six and a half years of being pregnant of her life. She must love the OBGYN and getting pregnant and going to appointments all the time. She must enjoy that routine, I guess. My lord. Yeah, you have some people who actually like being pregnant. They like having babies and stuff like that. Man, oh man. Here we go. Jesus take the meal. Woman orders food from Sonic. Then tells waiter, this one's, quote, this one's on God. Before dipping on her dinner. So she didn't pay for a word or she God was gonna She did. She's on the loose now still. Yeah, um okay, so God doesn't quote pay for things. It doesn't work that way. Um for God don't get me wrong, but God doesn't things like, well, what's gonna happen? Like God's just gonna like send some cash from the sky to pay this waiter before the end of the shift. This waiter at Sonic of all places. Like, really? Yeah. She got some nerve. A lot of nerve. Um, word on the street is that Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey's daughter, is getting her cake smashed to some of the rings by Diddy, who's trying to get over his loss of Cassie. Enjoying some hot girl s- summer with a little young hot girl. What are your thoughts on Diddy and Lori Harvey getting their freak on? I would say as long as uh, Lori Harvey is of age and she's over 18 years old, I I say they're both consenting adults. Me too. I don't too much care who this man is is bopping, but I will say her dad is a sellout. I don't know what to say about her. Her Mm dad is a sellout, so I don't know what to think about him. So... We'll let that ride, Lori. Get your freak on, honey. We got this musty mayo wench who called black women the N-word in a kind of restaurant says, quote, she'll do it again. I like calling them N-word. That's what they are. Does she even know what the, what the N-word even really is supposed to mean by definition? And that she actually enjoys calling black people such a demeaning word? What makes her any better? I can't stand when racist white people do that and think that it's funny. There's nothing funny about that. My whole thing is if somebody wants to be racist, okay, cool, be racist. But don't disrespect other races just because you don't like their race. Just go your way, they go their way, that's it. Exactly. try to make a reason for it. No, no reason for it. And uh, here we go. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Florida man arrested for going to break through man's house because he, his cat got in his yard and left him dropping to only on his porch. So the man threw a person the guy's the window because the guy's cat got into his yard. Yes, and left some droppings. It is not that serious. Like, that doesn't equate to it being justified to throw a brick through with one. These people take things from zero to a hundred quick. Calm down. Exactly. We got this one. New York City robber arrest after getting caught in a chimney. They can slide down the chimney and get in the house. <laughs> and get stuck what do you there. think he was, Santa Claus? I think he did. 
Yeah. Wow. That's not the way how this is supposed to go. Exactly. Like if somebody's gonna do something dirty, at least have a plan of action. Exactly. It gets worse. Uh, Tennessee Best Buy customer rests after slamming broke TV through a salesman's head and sold it to him because it's not it really being defective. He threw the TV at the salesman's head? He threw it through. He actually put the salesman through, through the whole TV. He threw it oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. And all that was unnecessary. It's like, um, if the TV's defective, all he had to do was just show his receipt. And they would have replaced the TV. That's it. The, the, the TV. Once again, zero to 100. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's just, uh, really? This, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. And also, we got this story. A uh, Florida man arrested for going to the Dick Sporting Goods store and not to choke himself with, 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 with a fishing rod because he looked at his woman the wrong way. The salesman probably wasn't even paying attention to his woman. He's probably just trying to do his job, and homeboy's just jealous and possessive. <laughs> Crazy psycho. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It gets better. Minnesota man arrested for peeing on boss of death in the form of resignation. That's how people are resigning now? <laughs> how about a letter of resignation or just say, hey, I quit? Let me pee on your desk. <laughs> like, really? What kind of take is that? Yeah, so much of getting that job reference. <laughs> Let me pee on your desk and resign. Pee on your desk. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, man. And the final story today is this. Oh, my God. Florida men arrested for jumping out of selling a dog tree to kick the salesman's butt who would not give him the right balloon. Zero to 100. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get in the saloon, sir? How did you get up there to hide the whole day? To get to where? How did you do that, sir? These people are crazy. I've you. heard everything tonight. <laughs> I've heard you. everything. I told you it'd get worse. So, as we close up the ball sport, what is your take on part two of the report? <laughs> I don't even know where to start. You got people getting attacked for, for Dollar Tree balloons. You got glitter being poured on animals. You got the banana pudding being used as a weapon. You got hot chili being used as a weapon. What is wrong with these people? Exactly. No, but for real though, the banana pudding and the glitter that got me today. <laughs> and the hot chili and the milk and, and wedges too. Yep. And, and also cutting off your Johnson in, in front of church is not a good idea. In church. And let's mm-hmm. not show up, flash your meat to a pharmacist to get meals. Like, come on. <laughs> exactly. We must be better people. Must be better. Well, folks. That's this week's Boss Report on the Boss Man Show. Check us out at bossmanshow.com. We are out. For all your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu-ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B-L-U-B-E-R-R-Y, prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Hey there. Your yard took a real beating this summer. Luckily, Scott's Turf Builder Winter Guard has your back. Just feed your grass with Scott's again this fall when the air is cool and the soil is warm. It's the perfect time to give your lawn a boost. If you do, Winter Guard will give your yard the nourishment it needs to help weak, thin grass recover and support root growth, giving you a greener, more resilient lawn both now and next spring. Guaranteed. Grab a bag of Scott's Turf Builder Winter Guard today. You'll be back to barbecuing in no time. This is a Scott's Yard. 
Hey parents, we all try to be extra careful with our children in the car, but then we get an important call or text. Remember, our children are watching. Make every drive a good example. Be in the zone. Turn off your phone. Visit childrenshospital.vanderbilt.org slash B-I-T-Z to learn more about our teen driver safety program. Brought to you by Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, the Ford Motor Company Fund, and the Allstate Foundation. Hello, my name is Travis Williams, President and CEO of Academics and Athletic Consultant, focused on educating and empowering tomorrow's collegiate athletic leaders. My passion is for the education and genuine concern and care for today's student athlete. It's the centerpiece of my life's work. A college education, both in and out of the classroom, is a truly rewarding benefit. For more information on AAC, you can go to www.academics.com and athleticsconsulting.com. Once again, www.academicsandathleticsconsulting.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook at Academics and Athletic Consulting or Twitter at Coach T Wheel 24 or Instagram Travis L. Williams 24. Or you can call me at 404 542 607. Once again, AAC is very proud to partner with J.R. McHenry of the Bossman Radio Show, covering sports and entertainment across the country. Please tune in weekly for informative, entertaining, and expert analysis on today's sports and entertainment topics. Thank you. Hip hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grind ENT, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, illstreetrex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech, and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. A gorgeous tan from Suntan City gives you an inner glow that relights the fire when you run into your first crush. Vicky, who is that? An old boyfriend. Lucky you just tanned at Suntan City. Lucky he's single. We're doing lunch tomorrow. Won't be single for long then. During Tour of the City, try all five tans, including spray tan for just $4.99. Restrictions may apply. Click to buy now. When you're a teen, you finally get to make some of your own decisions. Who are you going to hang out with? What do you want to be? Are you going to glance at that text while driving? Remember, a split second is all it takes for something tragic to happen. Be in the zone. Turn off your phone. Visit childrenshospital.vanderbilt.org slash B-I-T-Z to learn more about our teen driver safety program. Brought to you by Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, the Ford Motor Company Fund, and the Allstate Foundation. Is maybe the night that my dreams might let me know All the stars are closer, all the stars are closer Tell me what you gonna do to me Confrontation ain't nothing new to me You could bring a bullet, bring a sword, bring a morgue But you can't bring the truth to me Alexa, play Kendrick Lamar and SZA Okay Maybe the night that my dreams might let me know All the stars are closer With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need Get tens of millions of songs. Download the Amazon Music app today. Yeah, yeah, it's your man, JC, the host with the most, baby. And it goes down each and every Saturday night right here in the city of Memphis. That's right, y'all. It goes down at Clicks Sports Bar Memphis, baby. 3705 Malco Way, Memphis, Tennessee, 38125. Come out and join us, the Three Kings, each and every Saturday night for the liveest karaoke in the city. Everybody gets in free till 10 p.m., only $5 after. Great food. We got drink specials. We got all kind of games, man. We got the pool tables popping. Whatever you want, we got you, man. Come on out. Have a good time with us each and every Saturday night. That's Clicks Sports Bar, Memphis. <laughs> 